sadly whatsapp has been banning different kind of accounts very recently due to the suspicion that most of these accounts have been using bots to chat on whatsapp as a whatsapp marketer that is using whatsapp to market its goods and services you will grow your business to a particular level whereby you will need to start automating some activities on your whatsapp and this whatsapp automation if not done the right way could lead to temporary or permanent ban of your whatsapp account that is why in this video i want to show you how to set up autoresponder for whatsapp without getting banned so if this is a solution that interests you why don't you give this video a thumbs up right now give it a thumbs up so that other people that need this kind of solution can easily have access to it and also if you are joining this channel for the first time why don't you subscribe to this channel subscribe to it i create videos around how to make more money online and how to improve your marketing so smash the bell notification icon and also don't forget to share this content to your people to your community that you feel this will be of great importance too and most of the ideas i'll be sharing in this video can only be performed on autoresponder premium version right if you want to download it, you can go to google play store and download autoresponder or i'm going to leave the link in the description below but if you want it for free i can get it for you for free uh all you just have to do is stay with me very closely somewhere maybe in the middle or towards the tail end of, of this content i'm going to drop an information on how you can get the premium version of autoresponder for free so all right guys welcome to my phone screen right so what we want to do right here is we want to ensure that we are able to set up our autoresponder in such a way that we can be able to avoid whatsapp ban uh, i have four points i'm going to explain under this so uh let's start with the first point which says break messages into sections right so i'm going to go into my autoresponder right here i'm going to go into my autoresponder as you can see this right here it says um um this is a particular rule this is a received message right this is the message i'm going to receive and this all these right here are going to trigger right you can see what i've done right here i've broken these messages into sections right this is one section another section another section another section right this is what it means by breaking messages into section what most people usually do is they just send this they blast this right they blast these ones let me just show you something similar to this yeah something like this this is what most people do i understand that you have much messages sent to your audience enough character of messages but it is not good to send to blast all those messages once because one thing you don't know is that whatsapp app understands the number of words human being can possibly type in a single second right you want to ensure that you have broken your messages into sections right you break it into sections something of this nature right this is what i want you to do you break it into sections so this takes me to the next point which says is don't make your messages a one-way conversation now what do i mean by that you can see what i have right here look at what i have right here it says um reply with yes or no right what most people used to do is okay let's say i want to send all these messages to people this message right here i want to send it to people most people will just send this as once pa but what you have done is you could have broken those messages into three right you break it into three into three sections right and at each section you make people reply if anybody read this first section yeah, right here the first one you make them reply a particular word and that word will be your receive message for the second word right for the second section right you make them repeat another word after they have read this they have finished reading this this second one then that word that they reply also will be the will be the word that will trigger the third section right so that's how to do it so for this one right here this is the word i want them to reply right 
either the person reply yes or no then the next rule is going to trigger right and that is how it should be done so you don't make your messages a one-way conversation you say some word then you allow them to reply something it could be just a word it could be yes no done stuff like that let them reply something then the next rule can trigger from there so that is how to do this guys to avoid what i burn and the next thing is use message seconds delay using message second delay uh this is what this means um right here as you can see this is what we call message second delay message second delay after i have broken these messages into section right after i've broken them into sections what this works for this delay in seconds work for that after this person has replied the word yes right after he has replied the word yes and this message right here is wants to trigger this we go first awesome so let's play a little game then after two seconds that we have set up right here the second one will go the third will go after the next two seconds and after the last two seconds this will also go right this will make even your message look like a, you know it is not actually a bot they are chatting with right because it is not as if you are blasting everything to them at once the first one is going they read it the second will go you get what i'm saying now so that is how to set up autoresponder rule right so this take me to the tour to the last thing which is a um, call out right guys if you have followed me to this very level why don't you give this video a thumbs up right now give it a thumbs up so that other people that need this kind of solution can have access to it and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are joining us for the first time and hit the bell notification icon right so the last thing i want to talk about right here in this tutorial is call out your lead name in your messages right call out your lead name in your messages many people don't know that this features is on autoresponder hence they don't get to use it and it is very powerful right so the reason why i say this is very powerful is because um sending using autoresponder to send messages on whatsapp one of the things that you can do to avoid whatsapp ban is to ensure that the message you are sending to mr a mr b mr c and all of your audience are not exactly the same thing right i know most of the people are coming to your dm with a particular word um which will trigger a particular rule right or maybe you want them to reply a particular word in, a, in order to reply in order to trigger a particular rule and you keep sending just the same messages to them this could be a flag to whatsapp instead of that there's a way whereby you can mention their name in your messages right you can mention their name in your messages you can mention the name of mr a in the message that is going to mr a you can mention the name of mr b in the messages that you be that auto autoresponder will be sent to mr b and on and on like that so how do you do this just go to this point right here this tag tap on this tag here this particular one So you tap on this tag, this particular one right here. Then I will tap on it. Then I will locate um I will locate this. Okay, I will locate this right here. Um name into bracket first. If you wanted to mention the last name, they can select the last name, but I wanted to mention the first name. So I'm going to select name first. So you can see. So first name is percentage first underscore name percentage then comma so that comma is not there just put it there all right all right start it so this is it guys now let's test all these things you have done so far let's test this let's test this and we can see how this works so let's save this save okay 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 this is working so let's see that oh you can see it is working actually it's actually working you can see it says ayobami it has called out the name ayobami so let's play a little game right and the messages came 
one after the other. So I believe this video content has been really helpful to you. Uh, why don't you like this video right now if you have not done that? Why don't you share it to people that need this? And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are joining us for the first time. And like I promised, I said I'm going to show you an information on how to get autoresponder premium version. I want you to just go into the description below and click the link that says, give me autoresponder. Give me autoresponder premium and I will see you on the other side.